Hi guys, thank you guys so much for being here today. This morning, the postman dropped off this giant box. And so we're gonna find out what's inside the box, what's inside the box. Hi guys, thank you guys so much for being here. I am Felicia from Sweet Georgia, and this is Taking Back Friday, and we talk about making things and making time to make things. Now, today is Friday, it is February the 1st. As you are watching this, I'm actually in Portland, uh, Portland, Oregon, and I'm there with the Sweet Georgia team, and we're doing TNNA. TNNA is the Needle Arts Association, it's a trade show that happens twice a year, the Needle Arts Association. Yeah, that's what it is, TNNA. So we're actually at TNNA right now, but as I'm recording this, I'm here with you. So yeah, let me tell you what this is. I actually have not opened it yet. It's gonna be kind of a little bit of an unboxing because um, yeah, I haven't seen what's inside it yet. I can tell you a little bit about who it came from and where it came from. So many, many years ago, there was a company called Namaste bags and Namaste was a company in California and they made these beautiful knitting bags and they were just cute. They were just cute bags and I was a humongous Namaste fan. I used to go every year to TNA twice a year and Namaste would have a booth there and um, at the end of the show I would always go and buy myself sort of a new bag and so I have like a collection of these Namaste bags from years and years ago. So there's like this one that I bought many years ago, cherry red. They were like this kind of big tote style, you know, with multiple sections. And I put my laptop in inside and put all sorts of stuff inside. You could fit your laptop, you could fit your knitting and your phone and your notebooks and iPads and just everything. I found them to be really awesome and wonderful bags. And then a couple of years ago, Namaste closed down. I'm not entirely sure about the story about why they closed down or what for or anything like that. But in the interim, um, Laura Zander, Doug Zander at Jimmy Bean's Wool, uh, a yarn shop online, um, and they also have a shop, a real shop, like a, a retail shop as well. But uh, Jimmy Bean's Wool bought Namaste and has started to make new bags. So now new Namaste bags are available and there's new designs and there's just like a new collection of all these Namaste bags. And so they have sent me a couple of items here and I'm gonna open them up and take a look because I don't even know what they look like now. So let's see. Okay, so there's one. And there's another one. And I got a card from them. It says, happy day. From Jimmy and the Beans. That's really cute. Okay, so let's see what's inside these bags. Okay, so we got two bags here. It's really lovely. They always come in one of these sort of uh, non-woven tote bags to keep them clean, to keep them tidy. It's a nice way to package them. And let's see, ooh, this one's a pretty one. Okay, so I asked to look at two different sizes. These are basically bags that Jimmy Beans did send me so that I could review them and talk about them with you guys. But uh, they said, which ones would you like? And so I wanted to check out this one because it's a very different design than what I have previously used from Namaste. And this looks like, looks like a bowling ball bag in some ways. This one is super, super adorable. I'm gonna have to cut open this little tie so that I can open up the bag itself. I don't wanna do it and cut the actual strap or anything. But yeah, it's super cute. It looks kinda of like a bowling ball bag. It opens flat. The reason why I was interested in this is because they were saying that when you sit this on the table, it actually sits very uh, straight and flat. It basically becomes like a knitting bowl. So you have your yarn in here, you have your project in here, and then you can just start knitting out of this bag. So you can just open up the two zippers and see what's inside here. There is a giant air bubble inside. 
And this is a strap. This, I think this is called a crossbody bag. I'll have to check up and look what the name of the bag is, but there's a strap. I always wear my bags with a strap and wear them crossbody now so that way I have both hands free. I don't like having shoulder bags fall off my arms and things like that. There is also this which they have attached. And so this is a strap that comes on the inside of your bag and it actually doubles as a uh, a ruler. So it has markings here that are one inch markings that are like a ruler. But at the end of this, this is basically what you would attach your keys to. So this is like to hold your keys so that they're in the bag. You don't lose them. You're not rummaging around trying to find your keys. They're always attached to the strap and the strap doubles as a ruler. So that's a really cute idea. And then here is a little logo key ring with a fringe on it. That's very sweet and cute too. And now the interesting thing that I wanted to look at was actually this part. So this part of the flap, you can see this opens like so, this part of the flap has a little metal ring here with the Namaste design on here. You can't see it, I'm not gonna take the plastic off or anything like that. But you can see right here, this is an opening where you can thread your yarn. So basically the idea is that you have your yarn in here, you have your project in here, and then you just thread the loose yarn through their little logo. Um, you don't have to thread it through and have it be in there permanently. You can take it in or out as you need to. But you can thread it through and then this will allow you to just draw your yarn out of the bag really, really easily and just hold your yarn and manage it so that it's not all over the place. And then inside here, what else do we have? So we have a couple of pockets. There's a pocket that's perfect size for a cell phone, perfect pocket for, you know, random things, tiny little wallet, maybe your lipstick, maybe your whatever. And then on the other side here, another nice bag. Oh, they included a little notebook as well. There's like a little knitting notebook it says knit pearl breathe repeat and so yeah oh my gosh there's so many things in here so there's a little dotted notebook which is very very adorable it's almost like the dots of a bullet journal except it's just a tiny little book and they also included a little yarn needle that says namaste on it can you see Ooh, namaste it says a yarn needle there and they also included this, which is a needle gauge, Namaste needle gauge, very, very sweet. These are all new little accessories and inclusions. When I used to buy the Namaste bags, they never came with any of these things. These are very, very sweet. Oh, this is adorable. So the, the other side of this yarn needle it says, weaving in ends is just the beginning. It's very sweet. So these came included in the pocket of the bag. So again, this is just the inside pocket of the bag. And yeah, I generally would put my phone in there. Uh, I put pens in there. You could fit your bullet journal in here. That would totally work as well. And then there's even another little zipper pocket for putting like your super secret things. So if you were traveling or something like that, that would be a great place to put like a passport or, you know, emergency cash or something like that. So that is that bag. Now there's also a little back outside pocket too for putting you like stitch markers or maybe put your pattern in here so you don't lose it. But I love it. It's like, it's just like a tiny little handbag. Perfect to sit on, sit on a counter and it'll stay open and then you can knit straight from this bag. Love it. So this is called the crossbody. This one I believe is the plum color. It says it's supposed to be the petal color, but it is actually the plum color. Yeah, I love it. It, it, it. This feels really nice. It feels like nice. It is not leather. I think they call it vegan leather, but uh, it's, it's, it's quite nice. Okay, so let's look at the other one too. Okay, so bag number two. The other bag that they sent is one that is a little bit more similar to the bags that I've had in the past from Namaste. It was meant to be more like a tote bag. Ooh, but it's soft. Okay, 
soft, 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 soft. So this one feels like a slouchy, kind of more like a boho sort of style bag. This one is that petal color that they were talking about. And so these are lovely. Let's see. So there's these big magnetic clasps at the top just to close your bag. And then there's a big zipper down the middle to open this up. And inside, this is similar to my old Namaste bags in that there's three sections. So there's a front section, there's this back baggy section, and then there's a section in the middle. Now this is not big enough to put my laptop or anything. Here's another strap, crossbody sort of strap. This does not seem big enough to put my laptop. It seems like it's a relatively big bag, but it would not fit my laptop, I don't think. Uh, I think you could definitely fit an iPad in the middle here. That would definitely work. Um, yeah. And again, so this here is covering, I'm gonna just pop this off. It is covering that same sort of metal clasp. You can see there's the logo and then there's the opening where you can thread the yarn through it. And then that's what you would use. You put your knitting project in the front pocket here. And again, there's another one of these straps with the one inch markers that would serve as your uh, ruler. So this is again, chi key ring, key ring holder. <laughs> so you don't lose your keys in the front here. Now they've designed the inside pockets of this bag. Let's see here. There's a couple of pockets here. There's another pocket here where you find the notebook with the yarn needle inside. That's in one of the pockets here. And then there's a couple of tiny little, can you see it? There's a couple of sections for pens, so you can pop your pens in there. This feels great. Like the leather of this feels really soft and really supple. Um, it's, a, it's a really sweet color as well. It's kind of like a pale, Lilac color, I guess is what they're calling it. It's a petal. So knitting project in the front. Maybe I would put my notebook, my wallet, and an iPad in the middle section here. And then in this back section, hmm, I'd probably put like phone, stuff like that. And then in here, again, there's a big zipper pocket in the back. And then this is where, again, we're finding the needle gauges. So this is definitely more on the large side, the tote size. You can put this over your shoulder and carry this around. This would be great for like a knitting night and stuff like that. It could probably hold quite a bunch of stuff. These are the two different bags that we're looking at from Namaste. Okay, fantastic. So you guys, these are the two bags that are now available from Namaste. They have actually more bags than this. You can go to the Jimmy Beans Wool's website, Jimmy Beans jimmybeanswool.com. So you can go to jimmybeanswool.com to check out all the different Namaste bags that they have now. They have redesigned them and they are all new. They have all these new functions and these new features, you know, the, the little ring where you can thread your yarn through and knit out of. They have that new measuring tape gauge sort of thing that's already in built into it. And um, yeah, there's just, I think there's a lot of very, very thoughtful features that they've put into place specifically for knitters to make this a knitting bag. Um, in recent years, you know, since Namaste originally went out of business, I had to switch to a whole bunch of other different kinds of bags. And actually, to be really, really honest, I switched to diaper bags <laughs> for a couple of years because, um, well, we had some babies and we needed diaper bags. And so, a diaper bag seemed like the thing that moms do. So <laughs> I got one. And luckily one of my girlfriends, actually um, her and her sister, they started a company called Nest Designs and they make a whole bunch of baby things, including bags for diapers. But it was a bag that I could also double and use as a camera bag and things like that. And then since sort of growing out of the diaper bag <laughs> phase, I started to move towards like more bags that could also be used for photography. So I could carry my big camera around and that could carry the weight of the camera. And so 
I think that definitely like a bag like this would have space to put my camera in if I was gonna carry my camera around. This is definitely uh, something that would have space. I'd probably add more padding to make that work for that situation. But if you're just walking around with your bullet journal or your iPad, a notepad, um, your phone, um, and maybe one or two knitting projects, absolutely, like this is, this is something great to work with. So with the fact that they actually have, you know, the keys, uh, the key ring, sort of built into it, um, I, I would still probably keep my knitting project in a knitting bag, like a Bink waffle bag or something like that, like a knitting bag, and then put that bag into one of these totes so that the keys don't intermingle with your knitting project and get it all tangled up and, and messed up. So yeah, these are two cute new little bags that are available from Namaste. Now, if you guys are in the, in the market for a new bag, we are going to do a little giveaway for both of these bags. So you can enter your information through the links below and you can enter to win either the pink tote style one, this one, or the plum crossbody bag that sits on the table. So you can enter to win one of those. You guys can find the links down below in the comments in the description area down below this video. Yeah, so that's it. Thank you guys so much for being here. So the fact that I'm in Portland right now with uh, my people at TNA means that in the coming weeks, we will hopefully have some more things to talk about from TNA and show you what happened at that event. Thank you guys so much for being here for this episode. If you like this episode, please do hit the like button. If you like Namaste bags, hit the like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, please do hit subscribe and you'll get notified every Friday when we come up with a new video. I mostly talk about knitting and spinning and weaving and dyeing and all things to do with yarn. So I hope to see you guys here on another episode. Thank you guys so much for being here and I will see you in the next one. All right, bye for now.